So, what does Varian do when your truck is in the shop? Well, if it's in the shop for the day, they're gonna just have you wait with the truck, right? If you get tired, they're gonna have you just sleep inside your truck. But if it's there overnight, if it's in the shop overnight here at Springfield, they are going to hook you up with a hotel room located here at the Days Inn. Trucker special, free breakfast, free Wi-Fi. So this is where uh, you will stay. And it's the it's a days in, but it's not the basic days in. It's pretty nice. And I'll show you inside. I arrived here two days ago, and my truck was expected just to be in the shop for one day. However, the windshield was a little bit cracked because of a stone that hit it, and um, they went ahead and, and called the windshield man, and he's going to come out today to have it replaced. So they gave me an extra day here at the hotel. Um, my load's not due until Monday, so it really doesn't affect my load. And I get some rest, R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. And I get uh, to stay in a nice, comfortable bed, hot shower, so I'm not complaining. So thank you, Variant, I appreciate that. And well, today is Sunday, and it is cold out. Like I said, I'm in, uh, I am in Springfield, Ohio. And the temperature right now is approximately 40 degrees, about 45. It's pretty cold. And I'm wearing a t-shirt, <laughs> a dry fit shirt at that. So uh, today, the breakfast here is served around six o'clock in the morning. So I'll get the free breakfast and then check out is around 10 o'clock or 11. And at that point, I will uh, probably call Uber or a Lyft, which is the same as a grab car and get back to my terminal to get my truck and I will keep you posted. All right, let's go inside the lobby. on real quick for you here is the bathroom you get a shower you get a toilet I won't have you look at the toilet it's not a big deal get a mirror your hat and you get a TV and you get a table two beds So it's a decent room. It's not bad. And uh, well, I'll be here for the next few hours. So the next uh, thing I'll film is our breakfast. And also the side or the back of the hotel of the Days Inn, you have access door to the parking lot, of course. And across the street, you have a Shell gas station. You have another little gas station right over here. Kind of hard to see because I'm in the back. But there is a, there's a smokehouse across the street, Taco Bell, McDonald's, and there's an A&W fast food place right there. Sell really good burgers. And of course they're known for the root beer. 
and that's really it. Not much to show here in the back parking lot, but I wanted to give you an idea. If you do happen to stay here, you do have some choices of fast food if you want to eat there. And you have restaurants. There's also a Mexican restaurant that's across the street. But anyway, here it is. All right, next I'll show you is the, uh, the breakfast. All right, so here's the breakfast. You get apples, oranges, pieces of bread, muffins, some cereal. And you have to do this. Yeah, two eggs. Try some milk. Yeah, let me just have a seat. Grab some OJ. Actually, I'm gonna grab the orange juice. Hmm. No, that's not working, so I'll figure that out in a minute. So it's like you're camping. And the muffins are really good. Got a couple muffins. I gotta check on that orange juice and apple juice dispenser. What's up with this? Oh, it's not working. Hmm. Let me go find out. These are pretty much ready. <laughs> like I said, this is like this is like camping, right? So you have your eggs and. You know, it's, it's a nice little hotel. It's clean. It's not crazy. There we go. So we'll have some apple juice. And we'll have some orange juice. Nobody's up. I'm like the only one who's awake and home in the entire hotel. But I did hear some alarms going off when I was walking down the hallway. So I grabbed a fork, grabbed a napkin, and we're good to go. All right, so we're gonna eat our breakfast. Here it is. Look how nicely done that setup, huh? My oh my. All right, so that's it. You saw the breakfast. You know, it was okay. Or when you're a truck driver, you don't get the most fabulous breakfast, especially when you're in the truck. So here at the hotel, even though the eggs came in a plastic bag, <laughs> which is something new I never had before, you know, pre-made frozen in a bag. But if you look at it, sometimes you buy frozen food at the store. So it kind of resembles that, right? All right, well, now I'm back in my room now and it is about six o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. And so I'm gonna call up Variant and hopefully my truck is ready today. Um, I'm not sure if I told you why the truck was in the shop. Um, had a little crack in the windshield from a rock, a rock that hit the windshield while I was on the highway. Um, the driver who had the truck before me must have hit a few things because my both mirrors, the frames around the mirrors were kind of cracked. And they look like garbage, right? And when you drive a truck, you want it to look very nice. Plus, I'm like a billboard going down the highway, so I want my truck to look nice. 
and I had some issues with the electrical problems inside. So it was all fixed. So today should be the day I get it back. And again, I have my delivery tomorrow, about an hour away from here, uh, from Springfield. And uh, once I drop that delivery, then I'm headed somewhere else in the United States and I'll keep you posted on that. All right, so hey, thanks for watching. If you are not a subscriber, come on, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit that bell for notification. That way you know when I post another video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Thank you.